Wait one second, making sure I'm recording, I should be recording now. Okay, so hello and welcome back to Tinkleberry Does Out. Now I have been suggested to add a second one of these herbits on to the other side. So I thought, you know what, I might as well get it out of the way, test it, see how it works, see if it looks nice or not. And so that's what I'm creating now. There we go. <laughs> uh, if you excuse me one second, I'll go black out my screen while I remove EA from being active. That's alright, I was playing Battlefield 3 just before I started this, I tell you. That actually looks quite nice. Not the worst, but I do feel like this other side should go. So I'll just use my signature uh, tool to just go weep. Eep, boop. Cut. Bam. Gone. Save so much trouble sometimes. I got suggested this and I thought, you know what, I may as well, you know, try. Need more of a slow kind of entering, but there we go. Also, this entire line here is broken, so might as well refix it. There we go, that's not too bad. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. We could also try some other hair snails that I don't normally use, you know, that many different hairstyles from like regular ones that I know of. So I guess we could go wacky. Wacky inflatable. Our man is such an old meme. Ah, uh, good memories. I remember hearing about the the daughter of that man. It was always a joy to see one of them outside, you know, someone's shop or something. Because it brings back so many memories of her dad. I see he's the one who created them. But it's just nice, I can stuff it out. There we go. You know what we could talk about? You know, some of the greatest inventions in history, I tell you. The person who makes them always dies. We could talk about maybe the Spitfire, you know. Before the Battle of Britain, you know, when they were in, like, full use, their finest hour. The guy who uh, invented them died of uh, cancer. The guy who made the T-34 died of a cold because he never put a heater in the original one that he made. And he drove it all the way to, I think it was the testing grounds near Moscow. And he drove, you know, ages with it to prove that, you know, it was a good tank and it drove under its own power. But he never put a heater in it, so he died of a cold pneumonia. I don't know how many, you know, famous people have died from ammonia. Ah, uh, let's see. Like, it just happens so much. In history. You know, a weird topic to talk about while we're doing air, but, you know, at the same time, you know. How many, you know, greatest artists died in such a weird way. Like we almost never got the Last Supper, you know, for uh, 
Leonardo da Vinci being a bit, you know, spicy, I tell you. About another man. <laughs> oh, and I find that hilarious. Like, you know, keep it in your pants, my friend. You know, you, you're almost died for creating one of the best things. And I love the fact that uh, Jesus, you know, in one of his paintings, actually just his uh, boyfriend at the time. He considered him that, you know, handsome that he became <laughs> the Jesus. In the, what do you call it? Uh, painting. So that's why we have long haired, you know, Jesus with a, uh, you know, that certain look that everyone knows. Even though he's Middle Eastern and not even white. Crazy, huh? Crazy. Well, it's facts like them that makes history interesting, I tell you. And to people that don't really like to learn history, like, you know, history is quite interesting. You may not find, you know, like a certain topic interesting but there's that much history in the world that you know there's something for everyone there whether it be you're interested in politics you're interested in religion like learning you know the history of religion you never realize how much you know stuff repeats that being saying oh like you know we could say about the conflict you know that's happened you know against catholics and protestants you know for ages same words get said over and over again. Over and over again. The same words from the Hundred Years' War. And it is crazy, I tell you. You never realize how many of the same words have just said over and over again. So that these two people that should be allies, you know, like, you know, oh, yes, yeah, we, you know, accept God in different ways, you know, that's, that's okay. You know, that's why, you know, the survival, you know, allows you to learn God in different ways. Some people like to learn, you know, sorry, I'm getting distracted, like to believe in, like, you know, and pray to God, you know, wherever, and some people like to pray at church, you know, feel more connected to God then. Uh, let's see. But stuff, you know, different stuff like that, there we go. There we go. Or we could even hop over the, you know, lake in so many different countries and go to Islam. You know, I feel like so many people don't understand the, you know, full context about the, like, there's basically like two Islams. There's, you know, self-sacrifice Islam, and there's fighting, you know, war and all that Islam. Yeah, not too bad. And, uh, what do you call it? I think the thing that people do not realize, I tell you, when they, you know, read these scripts, you know, read so long ago and said so long ago, that they always read it in such a bad way. Because it's a whole point is like war is bad and you know but bam you know over the years you know it's just turned into conflict after conflict. I feel bad for all the people that you know like you know are supposed to be you know for something good and then it's used for something bad and then you can say that about so many other religions as well. Made for good, used for bad. Uh, let's see. Like, uh, what could we talk about after that? Now I'm dumping some history on you. <laughs> uh, you know, we're just doing art, and I'm just dropping these bombshells on you. Uh, let's see. We could talk about Papa. And Papa... Uh, well, not Papua New Guinea, the other Papa. There's two Papas. There's Papua New Guinea and there's Papa, the country. There's been conflict going on there for ages, I tell you. And I feel so bad because 
they're literally just attaching bombs to drones and just, you know, flying into innocent people, I tell you. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Sorry if I'm getting a bit, you know, political for your taste. But, you know what, these are just facts that, you know, I would like to say. How much bloodshed shall be spilt for just a few quarters of land or what else, you know, people want gold, oil. Thing is, we could have been out of space by now if it wasn't for NASA working on the shuttle rocket. The Greeks, you know, ancient Greece, you know, they could have been to outer space, you know, ages ago. They could have been colonizing another planet by now. For you to realize, you know, how advanced ancient civilization, you know, was. They invented a computer, basically, before there was a computer. A neat fact there, I doubt it. But they made a computer basically for, it's a very, you know, weird one, but it's just basically for, you know, cycles of the moon and all that. If they kept up with that technology, they would have been some of the most advanced humans in the world for a long, long period. Now you combine that with uh, the Chinese inventing gunpowder around the same time, you know, bam. You got some great civilization stuff there. Building pieces are all there. Just depends on what you're going to use it for. And a lot of people use it for bad. Like, this is coming from someone that's looked at history for years. I used to watch documentaries that were 20 hours long. 20 hours long. And there's still the new stuff that I'm finding out, I doubt. Like, you don't have to be so, you know, singy to learn all the stuff in history, but, you know, I like to learn all, you know, quarters of history. Learn about the facts that, you know, you probably would not have heard, you know. Alexander the Great, you know, throwing a, what you call it, funeral, the most expensive funeral in all of the ancient world for his lover. Crazy, huh? His lover uh, had sadly died and that threw him into, he dragged his body around the entire city mourning him. Dang, you know, if someone dragged my body around to see, I would be very concerned. Like, yeah, I'd be dead, but at the same time, you know, quite annoyed. Uh. And then, you know, he did the big funeral and all that. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm adding too much detail, you know, for something that would have been coming out in the 90s, but at the same time, you know, I'm just adding details. Nothing wrong with adding some detail. You'd always just change it in the future. Yeah, we're also working on the one that I did the hand stuff with. I was thinking about making it a little bit down here, a little bit darker. A little bit of a mess that I left last time. They do say that, uh, with history, I tell you, it's up to your own interpretation, but at the same time, 
I believe it's up to your own interpretation of good. So many people become misguided due to, you know, knowledge that they learned ages ago. Like, I'm always updating my knowledge, you know, on stuff going on, like... But then you see, uh, like these 80-year-olds saying, like, you know, this is what happened, like, you know, the moon land and space and all that. Not realizing that, you know, there's knowledge out there that proves it wrong, you know, the moon landing did happen, like, you know. You know, technology, you know, may have been advanced, but all we did was just put some, you know, fuel that was able to push a big rocket, you know, metal, all the way to space. That's all we really did, and then, you know, computer science, you know, boo -boo 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 -boo. Bam, you know, we know the moon's got to be there, so we got to go and collide with it, and bam, you know, that's how the rocket, you know, did the thingy. Uh, pretty simple knowledge, I tell you. There we go. But people, you know, doubt that knowledge because of, you know, knowledge that they learned ages ago. Even though a lot of teachers back then were, you know, like, very, you know, again, certain stuff. Like certain teachers, uh, you could say, in Scotland, you know, did not really like, you know, what Catholic people were teaching, you know, and all that. Could say the same thing about, you know, Catholic people. There's a deep rivalry ship, you know, going back, you know, ages, I tell you. But at the same time, you know, it really just damages people's education, I tell you. How much education was ruined because of stuff, you know, because your teacher was, you know, deciding, I don't like these guys, we gotta go and paint them as bad guys. All of that. How much bloodshed did that cause? We may never know. But at the same time, we already know that's a lot. Like, even, like, high up, you know, schools and all that, like, you know, that pretend to be, like, you know, snobby. Their, you know, lessons are, you know, not as good as, you know, public, you know, ones. But at the same time, public ones are just as bad a lot of the time. Education system's just trash. You're more able to learn about the educational system than you are to learn with the educational system. Like, yeah, it might give you an idea on what path you want to take in life, but at the same time, 90% of people that, you know, go to college don't actually know what they're gonna do. Like, you know, it should be, you know, a decision that they can take at any point, like, okay, I've decided, you know, what I'm gonna do in life, I'm gonna be like a biologist or something, and bam, you know, that's the, you know, path that they want to take. Should not be, you know, gatekept. Could say that same thing about the colleges that are money. Like, I understand it's like, you know, to advance, you know, learning, but, you know, at the same time, it's kind of also damaging learning because, you know, how many people cannot afford to get into that college? Like, you know, they want to take this certain path in life and bam, you know, you just block them and now they're working basically like a hamburger shop with a PhD, you know, a lot of the time, you know. It's that bad. It's that bad. Sorry if I'm becoming too, uh, philosophical. Philosophical reviews. It just happened, you know, random points. You know, just become so wise. Uh, let's see. Normally when it's quite late I become quite wise, but it's not actually that late, it's like 1700, so... No, it's not my wiseness, you know, hour. Though I can give you know, quite good, you know, wiseness, you know, stuff. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Oh, it's 
pixelating trash, I tell you. Why don't I add something to these shoes? I tell you. We go like this, and we kind of just wrap it down. May not be like you know everyday magical girl shoes, but you know at the same time I quite enjoy these. We'll just add something to it. Let's see. Uh, We'll add a love hair. That's what we'll do, we'll add a love hair. I might shift this one over a bit. It's a little bit, you know, broken. There we go. Makes it more magical girly. <laughs> uh. You know what? I was thinking about cool design. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Adds more color to it, uh, even though it's, I think there's enough color here for everyone. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed us. Have a nice day, safe, observable. Good sources. Thank you for your support. Very important. I'm amazed you think some of these issues are right.